Bookmap's Trader Map Pro add-on is similar to the Instrument Copy add-on in that it copies the original instrument. However, Trader Map Pro works with only MBO data. This allows you to filter the data so you can create customized and insightful historical heat maps that would otherwise be impossible. Please note rhythmic data is required and you can only access CME Group Futures instruments. The Trader Map Pro is included in Bookmap MBO bundle on the Bookmap Marketplace, along with the Stops and Icebergs add-ons. However, for a limited time only, it's also available for free with the Global Plus subscription. For more information about the Trader Map Pro, go to the bookmap.com slash knowledge base, and in the add-on section in the left margin, click on Trader Map Pro. Then scroll down a bit and find the download link then open up Bookmap and add it via the Configure Add-ons tool. Then select an instrument that uses MBO data, like the S&P E-Mini. Then open Trader Map Pro and click on the text and check the box here. Please read the important note at the top, which recommends not to use other add-ons because Trader Map Pro contains filtered data. For example, stops and icebergs will not correctly work on the Trader Map Pro charts because the MBO data is filtered. Please go to the Bookmap Knowledge Base and download and install both of the latest Stops and Icebergs add-ons for the on-chart and sub-chart indicators, or remove them from your chart, else you will likely receive warnings about the Stops and Icebergs not working correctly within Trader Map Pro charts. Now let's create a new heat map filter. Give the new copied instrument a name here if you like. I'll name it Test 10. Now let's add a filter by clicking on the Add button. At this time there are three filters. There will be more in the future. Let's add the MBO order size filter and let's filter for the incoming orders. I'll keep the order size range from 10 to 100. Therefore only orders of the size 10 to 100 will be displayed. All the rest are filtered out. Let's click Subscribe and take a look at the new chart here as the filter data populates. Note in the current order book that only orders of size 10 to 100 are displayed. This is also reflected in the heat map and within the spread of the best bid and offer. I previously opened a chart with this setting and collected some more data here. Let's check out that chart. Now we are truly looking at the behavior of larger players and market makers. Look at their behavior as they are willing to take risk and avoid it by narrowing and widening the spread. Also note the areas in the heat map of higher liquidity. These are larger players. This view filters out the noise of smaller players and gives you insight to where the larger players and market makers are willing to trade and accept risk. This insight wouldn't be possible without Trader Map Pro. Let's try another filter. We first need to go back to the original instrument we want to copy and then open Trader Map Pro. You can see our previous studies here. I'll unsubscribe from the one we just created and add a new one here. And please note you can add up to five different Trader Map chart copies. I'll add the next filter number of orders per price level and click subscribe. Let's check out the chart. Now in the current order book or COB column only the number of orders per price level are displayed not the number of contracts. This is also reflected in the heat map thus allowing you to see where larger players are providing liquidity. This is good but let's take it a step further. Let's go back to the original instrument and edit the trader map. We'll need to unsubscribe first. Next we'll add another filter, the order size filter. This time we'll use the filter of 10 to 100 orders and click subscribe. Let's check out the chart. Now we can see in the COB column the number of orders, not contracts, that are between 10 and 100. This filters the heat map even more, allowing you to see only significant levels of liquidity from larger players. Note that the size of the spread is large. We can see the last transactions, but it's difficult to read the price action. There are a few ways to overcome this. 
First, you could select the display for the last price here. However, if you want to see the current best bid and offer, you can add the cross BBO add-on. To do so, go to the configure add-ons and select cross BBO for the original instrument here. Now we can see the filter and current best bid and offer on the same filtered chart. There's one more filter to cover, so let's go back to the original instrument and Trader Map Pro and click Create. And then we'll add distribution of orders by size. We'll select the split bid and offers here and click Subscribe. Let's check out the chart. Please note this chart and display is not your typical heat map chart. All this chart is displaying is the number of contracts on the price ladder. The COB column displays the number of orders in the current market that have the amount of lots on the price ladder. We can see the vast majority of orders in this market use only one lot. This chart can be helpful for determining the number of orders you may want to filter for in other studies. In conclusion, Bookmap's Trader Map Pro add-on is a unique add-on that allows much deeper insight to the behavior of larger players. Play around with the settings and we think you'll find this add-on extremely powerful.